Data Bank, commence recording. This is General Ed Straker of the World Security Service. In this briefing, I will be discussing the role and function of the recently decommissioned Eagle spacecraft. The Eagle was originally developed for the purposes of transportation of crew and materials between the Earth and the Moon. The craft could operate in the vacuum of space, on the lunar surface, and in Earth's atmosphere. The World Space Commission ordered the construction of the Eagle on January 27, 1988, as a replacement for the aging Lunar Transit Module. The Eagle officially went into service on June 2, 1992. Five months later, the WSC approved the construction of an Eagle production facility beneath the lunar outpost, Moon Base Alpha. The Eagle was designed around three distinct sections, the command module, the service pod, and the superstructure. When fully assembled and loaded, the craft measured 102 feet in length and weighed 238 tons, including fuel reserves for 48 hours of flight. The craft was propelled by four nuclear fusion rockets located at the aft of the superstructure and could reach velocities of 15% the speed of light. In the event that an Eagle's mission required additional thrust, a set of twin booster rockets could be attached to the dorsal mount on the superstructure. The modular nature of the Eagle's design allowed a number of mission-specific variants to be configured as required. The transporter Eagle was fitted with a standard passenger pod, with space for up to eight passengers in relative comfort in addition to the pilot and co-pilot in the command module. Reconnaissance Eagles required a smaller crew, but carried vital sensor equipment for exploratory missions. These Eagles could be linked with the master computer on Moon Base Alpha, so that they may be flown remotely in dangerous situations, which could otherwise risk human lives. Rescue Eagles carried pods that were easily identifiable by the bold red stripes on the hull. These pods were adapted for medical diagnosis and allowed emergency procedures to be carried out if a mission suffered casualties in the field. Freighter Eagles were equipped with a cargo pod, which could transport essential supplies for excursions and could also be used to return materials to Moon Base Alpha. Additionally, Freighter Eagles could serve as fuel tankers, allowing stranded Eagles to be refueled when their reserves had been depleted. Another specially adapted module was the laboratory pod. This module served as a remote laboratory, often used to locate and refine minerals on the surface of a planet, while also capable of supporting a survey team for several weeks. The laboratory pod was larger than most modules, as it included airlock compartments on either side. Other modules included pods incorporating winch systems with electromagnets for lifting metallic objects. For guidance, the command modules of the Eagles were fitted with four radar dishes, which enabled precise navigational calculations to be completed when docking and landing. The Eagle's onboard computer performed these calculations as well as storing data from sensor readings and monitoring the status of all systems on board. It could also act as an autopilot system when needed, without the assistance of the main computer on Moon Base Alpha. The communication system aboard the Eagle was the same as the one used throughout Moon Base Alpha and on portable Comlock devices. Audio and video signals were transmitted to a range of approximately one light second, allowing for real-time communication, which was often critical during unpredictable missions. The Eagle transporters had a life support system which recycled oxygen and could, theoretically, and with maximum supplies aboard, keep a crew of six alive for just over a month. In addition to standard food supplies, emergency ration cubes also formed part of the craft's inventory. Eagles were serviced and stored in the hangars beneath the main launch pads on Moon Base Alpha. 
A dedicated crew of engineers carried out regular repairs and maintenance, keeping the fleet of 29 Eagles operational at a moment's notice. This concludes the briefing. It has been almost 21 years since the catastrophic explosion that blasted the moon out of Earth's orbit, taking with it the 311 men and women of Moon Base Alpha. I don't need to remind you how we managed to survive the crisis, but if you need a refresher course, you can review index file 041429. We can only hope that the personnel of Alpha somehow survived the catastrophe, and that the Eagle Transporter continues to aid their survival. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. Databanks, cease recording.